What y'all know about it? DZ Squad! What's good, DZ Squad? This is Girl KDZ Baby, and I'm back again with another video for you guys. I know y'all been missing my reactions, you get what I'm saying? Just doing a little bit of, you know, you know, like some lifestyle stuff. Go check out my vlogs if you haven't yet, you get what I'm saying? It really means a lot when people actually watch, you know, me for me and not just because of, like, the reactions, you know what I'm saying? It really does mean a lot. So I appreciate the ones that did um, watch those vlogs and wish me happy birthday and all that. So, yeah, it means you really care, like, honestly. Um, but I'm going to be reacting to The Hangout, episode four, Daniel, Ezra, Gr Greta, Greta, and Chelsea. All right, so I've reacted one of the hangout one. I reacted to one of the hangout episodes before. Uh, that was really nice and just interesting and fun to listen to. So I had me some food. You know what I'm saying? The rest of my burger from this resort. If you didn't know, I'm in Miami. You would only know that if you watch my vlogs, if you follow me on Instagram or something. Something. Let me find and get no, none of that napkin on there. But yeah, so I got the rest of my burger right here. I got some fruit punch. You get what I'm saying? And I do have some popcorn. This is a Sour Patch Kids popcorn. I try it on my um, newest vlog that comes out uh, tomorrow, most likely. But, yeah, so I'm going to be chilling. Make sure you guys get your food, snacks, or whatever. It's a long video. It's 40 minutes. I'm going to like the video. Make sure you guys like this video if you guys want me to continue on with the Hangout reactions. And let me know which one is next to react to. All right. Let's get it. Pretty like fresh and you know. Yeah, what I mean? we're also fun. You yeah, know? we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> super fun. Do you think? Act, do you think acting keeps you young? Do you think that's what keeps yeah. you in that place? Because hmm. it's yeah. quite, it's quite a playful profession. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what I mean, there are some people that don't play around. Yeah, that's true. Because you know? yeah. we have a really good cast and everybody yeah. gets along. It's like yeah. I think the fact that we're playing people that are much younger than us like yes. plays into the youthfulness of it all. Yeah. I don't know if it's acting specifically, but there are definitely like more serious careers. Yeah. Like we're not like saving so lives or, yeah. you know, launching rockets into yeah. space or anything If like you that. wasn't acting, what would you be doing? Oh my God. Oh. Interior decorating. Oh. So. Oh, hot. Chelsea was, uh, I know she had one of those names that's like, it's on the tip of my tongue, bro. Y'all are probably telling me right now. Y'all probably, <laughs> bro, what's this? Why don't you know it? Bro, it will come to me. I really, really like like just you love decorating things. for every season, every yes. like holiday, like Halloween, like, like I'm a holiday hoe. <laughs> 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 like, She's a holiday hoe. <laughs> yeah, oh like I don't know what would you be. I did so I studied history and crim in school. Oh wow! And, and crim I, is what for those who don't know criminology. Criminology. So it's the study of crime and why crime happens and who commits mm. it and all of that. But I felt quite passionate passionately about. Um, <sighs> rehabilitation mm. or the lack of rehabilitation in um i mean most places in the world there's not um <coughs> a lot of emphasis placed on like what do people do when they when they've paid their dues and they leave the system especially mm. young people so i felt really passionately about like working in an organization that helped people transition back into society because my thinking was always if we're gonna let people back out there should be systems in place yeah like help them integrate and yeah. there really aren't and you'll you know you even see it in movies like I not just watched, but recently watched uh, When They See Us. Right. And oh, so you have, you know, all the storylines of them leaving and how difficult it is once you've been in prison to do anything, like yeah. to get a job, like who you can and can't hang out with is, you know, you're uh, restricted in that. Yeah. Where you can go, curfews, and like that makes it really difficult to find a job when you have to be home by a certain time. So um, 
I don't know. I know there are a lot of organizations that do that. So I probably <laughs> very different career field. But oh my God, that's so good. I didn't know I that. I would have liked to like, and I mean, there's still an opportunity to get involved with mm -hmm. things like that. But that's uh, I feel very passionately about that. Oh, that's I didn't know that, Greta. Yeah. yeah so what about you? Mm -hmm. Um, Greta probably. Something to do, probably like something to do with psychology, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've always been fascinated with like the mind and how like the mind works and uh, philosophy and things like that, how we come to certain thoughts and just how we kind of. I agree. That how is personality is created and, you yeah. know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I've always been fascinated with that. What career that would be, I don't know, but like something in that field, I think. Do you. Acting uh, is probably you... the closest I can get to that. I mean, they're very close. And still have fun, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nature or nurture, what are you a believer in? Mm. In terms of, What like, do you mean? Like, you know, the argument of nature versus nurture, like, um, how are people's, I guess it's, like, personalities created or determined? Is it just, like, biological, what you're born with, or is it your environment? Oh, I feel like that's both. I think it's both, too. I mean, there are some people that are very, like, it's this camp or this like, camp. Like, what, like a murderer is a murderer? Both. Like, they're born a murderer? Or do you think, like, you know, like, they've got, they've gotten abused their whole life and yeah. then they, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's all nurture. You think it's all nurture? You yeah. think there's no nature I involved? Do. I think we're born as blank slates. You don't think something mm. is off in the brain? Like, maybe a little bit for some people? I think you people. can inherit stuff. Yeah. Uh. And I think that, you know, you can, uh, stuff can be passed down. Mm -hmm. or the capacity for something can be passed down or yeah. increased. But I but I, I, I think 99.9% .9 is this environment. It's nurture. It's, it's nurture, yeah. I, I have no what... evidence to base this on, by the way. <laughs> like, well, is, I'm like, wow. This is, all, like, this like, is, this is, that. This is yeah. all theory, but I just, right. I just feel like for the most part, and I'm sure there's exceptions, but I feel like mm -hmm. for the most part, we're born... Uh, like a blank canvas. Yeah. And I think I, that's a more optimistic I, Maybe. View too. And I think that start get that, that canvas starts getting paid the yeah. second we're born. I really, mm -hmm. but um I think but when we do come into this world I think it's just a blank canvas. Yeah, cuz I watch all these like murder shows and I'm just like how and I I'll, I'll stay up until like 6 a.m. like seriously just like looking at them like, the victims of victims family I'm like mm -hmm. but how do you like follow somebody, mm -hmm. stalk them and then like just chop them up <laughs> in pieces and don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Or eat them. Mm -mm. <laughs> Here. I feel like I know what you're talking about. I feel like if she watched um that uh what is it? The um Times Square killer. I feel like that's what she watched because I know the first victim two victims that he had, he chopped up their, their body. Their bodies, I mean chopped their heads off took their heads because uh, he had been with them. So he, he thought people would be able to identify them if they still had their heads on. And well, I mean, find out who he is basically. So yeah, that's crazy. But <laughs> a lot of murderers actually do that. So I don't know if she really talking about that one, but it's on Netflix. A lot of great documentaries. Um, I love watching crime movies and shows as well, so. I just watch these things. I'm like, I, like, I heard like my mom, my mom watches all that stuff, and I, 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 what, I, I don't know how you go to bed with all that stuff in I, your head. You know what? It's just so. In, it's just I don't know. It's like interesting. Like, how do you wake up and like plan to just follow somebody from the bar, kidnap them, and then and then hide the body? Like, I'm too lazy for that. Like, oh my god, girl, you're trying to run away. I gotta keep. Not I'm too lazy for that. That's what. The thing is, though, the murderers, they love the thrill. They love the the drilling in. You know what I'm saying? They love to feel like they're doing something. They are, they <laughs> tape over, they didn't kill you, and then chop you, and then and then hide the body, like, and then I'll be paranoid That's, I think, for so I, think long. I would love to have been a detective, but I'm too, yes. but I'm too squeamish, though. Really? Oh my god, yeah, you could never. Like, I'll be I'm such Daniel a good is detective. scared of everything. I'm scared, like, I'm too. Like, oh, I don't want to see the body. Yeah, that's what like I mean. I wouldn't want to see it. Yeah, you can yeah, tell yeah. me what happened, and right. 
let me figure out like the finding the clues and who did it like i would love all that stuff but you'd work exclusively in the office you'd yeah, never yeah yeah go, but yeah. don't i don't let me see <laughs> yeah like, but i don't want to do part. paperwork right. and all that like i just want to like true. i want to like i don't want to yeah. read a bunch of stuff like wow, you'd just... both be terrible <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. i don't want to go i don't want to read <laughs> no, but, like no no i'll figure the stuff worst out like duo. i'll be like no 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 because no, he was here and over there and like i'll i'll, I'll figure out clues mm -hmm. yeah but yeah like somebody else needs to do that that's other work so what is that you're called? both looking at me yeah. like i'm like greta i guess i gotta <laughs> guess i'm going to the scene <laughs> no but i, I always uh... get like paranoid after yes yeah, like watching that i wonder why people like, like to themselves. watch i think there might be um like a part of it that's like self-preservation like if you watch them you're like okay because i don't know if you do. did you do this i'm like okay god forbid if i was in the situation like what would i do how yeah. would i get out of it yeah exactly that's what i do for sure like i'm always like when i watch that type of stuff i'm like okay after i finish watching it i'm like okay if that happens then this is my plan like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> crazy stuff but if it happened i know i like, want to go down you see like certain that. situations and you think like i would never get myself into that situation yeah and there might maybe there's a part of it where you're just like it's like a study so i know what not to do no you just see me all walk of that in. stuff i don't know no yes i'm when i walk to like my car to like my apartment i have my anywhere, keys like, on my fist i'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm always to thinking somebody's gonna hear my mic like, i see you <laughs> like I see you looking at me, and I want you to know I'm aware. <laughs> it's probably like, probably like the nicest person She's ever. She's clutching her pepper like spray. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> it's an old man yeah, with like a walker. <laughs> But I get that though. I can't even like even be mad at that because from a woman's perspective, it's scary. Out scary so out scary. in the street. Yeah, I get Everything it. is terrifying when you're a woman. Yeah. I oh, can, I can. It's like my worst nightmare. Being a woman? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, well, I like being a woman, okay? I like it. I like all this. But, like, no, being kidnapped. That's yeah. scary. Yeah. Oh, my God. And there's, like, it's scary right now in L.A. with all these, like, white this... panel vans on the street. What's a white panel van? It's, like, those big those vans with vans. no windows on them. Oh. I don't know what they're called. Mm. The kidnap. I call those murder vans. Vans. Called <laughs> she calls them kidnapper vans. I call them murder vans, okay? Because if you get in, if somehow you end up behind in one, that means you're dead. It's, it's like big don't vans. Be near, don't go near a van. If you see a van, I'm like, no, 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 no. Walk around the block for a second. <laughs> or yeah. Go, go, no, but somewhere. actually, it's so scary. Yeah. There's like a lot of like the sex trafficking. There's, what is it? Organ harvesting. This is the darkest podcast. Sorry, yeah. God, ever. Okay, we can change it. Just I'm letting y'all stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. <laughs> stay no, it's Stay uh, blessed. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Yeah, I just kids, I just wives. We can carry world out there. We can go so yeah. not a lighter subject. So, sex. <laughs> like, let's lighten. Anybody like let's sex? Let's lighten it up. Because I remember that came up when we was, um, we was in a makeup trailer for one episode. It was mm -hmm. like, what? What um, he's talking about male and female. What's oh yeah. About? What? Oh, I for uh, it was something like, what would you? Was it like if you could spend one day as, as the, the other as sex, the, the what would sex. you do? Oh my god. Okay, I would wake up and just like shake it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now if you would. Honestly, probably me. <laughs> probably me too. That second to jacking off. I probably Yeah, I probably jack it off first, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, like, I gonna, would cut, just... cut that out. <laughs> no, okay. probably not. <laughs> it could be anything. Shake right? Up. I mean we don't have that. It's just like a thing. It's like right. an extra whatever it's, it's like, like an a, extra limb. Yeah. It's, the, so it's, it's literally the only thing that makes you different from a guy, other than like, you know, you get you have like automatic, like huge muscles and like you know what I'm saying? Maybe facial hair. You know what I mean? See how if you feels. Like um, I would just um, do basic activities and, no, no and not feel like I'm scared for <laughs> yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah. Like take out my recycling yes. or walk on the street and at not night. Be <laughs> not be scared that I'm going to get that. Um, yeah, there are definitely a lot of luxuries that um, you do not get as a yeah. lady. Um, 
What did I do? Everything is scary. So what do I do as a guy? I don't know. You just do whatever you want and you're not scared you're going to get pulled into a yeah. white van, I guess. I don't know. Tell us, Daniel. What's yeah, it what like? What do you do as a boy? <laughs> I just wake up. Oh, like you don't to... have to put any makeup. There's, I mean, we don't have to put makeup mm -hmm. on, but like... You can, yeah, that's a choice, you know? to be fair. That's a choice, yeah. Yeah, the makeup is... is yeah, makeup and hair is a choice. It's a choice. You could shave. Yeah. You should just shave your head bald. I already did. You, you, you Have you actually done that yeah, before? Yeah, not bald, bald, okay? Sure. But like, my, yeah, she'll you remember. I like had a buzz cut. Like, I mean, I had a little, little bangs, but like. Did you like that? Did you, per, did you I prefer think, it short? I think that I did it because my hair was damaged. So I was like, did the big chop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think every woman should do that once in a while. I agree. Because right. I felt so, I was like, no, my hair, I'm going to look like a boy. Or I'm going to not, I'm going to feel insecure. I was like, I kind of feel, felt like, I don't know, I had like a different vibe. Like I did a different, I hate saying that, a vibe. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> I freaking vibe. hate when people say that. Like, that's the it's vibe. vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but like I felt like, I felt like. It's freeing. Probably, yeah, I right? felt like just di like a nice shirt. And I, did, I was like tapered in the bag. Like I, I was getting lined up like at the barber shop. Like I felt like, what's up? What's up, dude? <laughs> just cut me back here. <laughs> but like, yeah, I felt. You felt sexy in was a weird way. Was it like way. Holly Berry short? Yes, it was off. Wow. Like what, how, what about it made you feel sexy? I don't know. First I was like, oh my God, like, you know, some guys don't like that at all. Mm -hmm. Some, you know what I mean? But I was mm -hmm. like, who cares? At this point, <laughs> it's already off. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it just felt like, you know when you get, you know how you said right here, you like that cut? Yeah, it I like very, short. It's very chic. I felt like very 90s, mm -hmm. very like, it's all literally about your face. It's yeah, all about your yeah, cheekbones. Yeah. Mm. It's all about like you're focusing on my face. You don't face, have anything to like hide it. behind. No, you're not. Do you like, feel like it uh, changed you as a person? Like, were you acting different? No, it was still me. Like, I'm very free spirit, but I felt more free. Like, I felt like. Because I know I feel when I get a sh like a really good lineup. Yeah, you I feel, feel like what's up? Yeah. You feel like. <laughs> me too, B. Talk to any girl in here, and everybody would love me. No, I don't know about all that. But I'm just saying that when you first come out of that barbershop and yeah. it's fresh, yeah. and you walk straight, and you definitely walk a bit straight, mm -hmm. and you feel like, oh. Have you ever God. had your hair longer? Yeah, I'm saying, girl. <laughs> Sorry, I was I'm just picturing him. <laughs> With, like, like this? <laughs> like a weave? It's like, well, I've had it one time in my life. She's <laughs> just like. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's not, I mean, it's nice, but it wasn't, it's not, it's never going to be as drastic as, yeah, as, yeah, as you course. should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I always feel like I get a, a, a boost of confidence when it, after a fresh cut. Yeah. Sure. No, I felt confident. Like, especially like everything looked fresh. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like my earrings look fresh because it was tapered and it was just like, right. it was just nice. Would you ever do it again? No. <laughs> no, because, 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 um, my hair is now getting healthy. I'm not straightening it, and it's so hard. Every time I look at a girl, I'm like, oh, I really, really, really want to straighten my hair. But like, it's- But you had it permed before, or? No, well, I mean, I have like I chemical? had it permed like in my life, but then I grew it out, and it was just, I was dying it. I get so bored. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I will get either some tattoos, or some, I just get bored. What's the craziest color you've dyed your hair? I've never dyed my hair. Really? That's why it's healthy. Don't. Or if you do, what is it? The pin, tin, pin? I no, I know nothing about hair dyes. It's like something where you, it, you can go lighter, but it's like your natural lights. Like your oh, natural... like you don't bleach it? It's yeah, bleach? It's, yeah, no bleach. It's called pin, something with the P. Mm -hmm. But um, I try to do this like peachy, corally mermaid thing, and it looks so pretty for like four days. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> then did it go like bright copper? Yeah, it was just like so bright, and then I just kept straightening it every because I was like, mm -hmm. oh no, it got poofy. Straight it, and then it was just. Like look like hay, <laughs> like a dog You're peed like on this. it and like left it out in the sun. And I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> then and then you bust it off. Yeah, I bust it off. Wow. Sorry, I feel like my nose is like. <laughs> Get this woman a clean it. <laughs> you see me almost like this. I feel like you're like. I'm, gonna, I'm like gonna you okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm just growing it out, and I feel like. Thank God! Thank God! I can wear my hair curly like on TV now. I feel like back in the, God, I don't want to say back in the day. Yeah, but, like, but oh yeah. Yeah, like always straight, always. Well, it had to be. It had to be. Or they, because if you showed up, they're like, it's too well, much. How do I brush up it? Like that, they'd be like, we don't know what to do with hair yeah. on the doors. Or they'll right. act like they do and then they'll mess it up. Mm -hmm. Like, 
even for like is it like black hair specifically yes well even my hair is less curly than yeah. yours yeah my natural hair texture but when i was younger and i would show up to sets even with my curl yeah people would be like whoa what's going on here like <laughs> we're just gonna brush it back and put it in a ponytail and yeah. like yeah yeah it was totally i mean eventually i was on a show where our hair lady knew how to do curly hair and yeah. introduced me to like a range of products and told me like how to wash my hair how to dry it how to like you know do whatever so the curl looks nice and then also like youtube came out and there yeah. were people on there that were telling you how to do all that but it was totally for Not. me personally a learning process of like i just had to do my own hair yeah. and then eventually i think the industry started changing and there yeah. was more of an expect expectation for you to be able to do every kind of hair which you should because that's your deal and same with makeup like yeah like we learn how to do all like skin tones mm -hmm. and learn how to do like why are you a hairdresser if you can't do everything like yours that's you're supposed to <laughs> you're supposed to do it like yeah. you can't just i'm supposed to be to go on set and just learn my lines and that's it and just feel like whew, in the makeup chair and like just relax in the hair you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i got my bangs cut off in a flat iron <gasps> wait like they burned them off yeah they burned it off <gasps> okay okay like my <laughs> no i was like yes and i didn't know, know how to speak up then because i was like you know like you say you're yeah yeah like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. oh you're uh, reoccurring or a guest star and it's like oh yay i'm just happy to be here mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. mess anything up, right and then i'm like, well. like okay can we use this i was like yeah we can just <gasps> don't, 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 I just, don't do that. Um, and, then like, no. and then it's just like, oh, sorry, hon. Like, what do you mean, sorry, hon? You just cut Your off bank my bangs. Off I had, like, no I... edges. Like, I just, like, no. it just looked bad. Was it out here? And I feel like... L.A., oh. yeah. Wow, no. you feel like L.A. at least. You feel yeah, I would think of... L.A. there would have been more... No, because nobody had know how to do my hair. And, unless I was, like, on the black show. Mm -hmm. And right. then it's like... Okay, cool. You know at least what to do a yeah. little bit. You know what I mean? And Or you'll ask me, hey, can I use this product on you? What yeah. works for you? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a, a dope Jewish lady do my hair, but she had the same type of hair as me. Right. right. So right. that's, so I was like, knew. yeah, but like, they'll just they'll like put alcohol in my, just like, what are you, what are you doing? What? Mm -hmm. But now, like you said, like, we've learned how to do our hair and now it's more accepting on TV. We can wear froze. We could, you know what I mean? More. You start to see a, a bit yeah, more, um, Diverse hairstyles on TV now. Yes, hundred percent. Sure. Like you see, like natural hair doesn't surprise me on TV. Anymore. No, not really. No, it was like I just feel like before I would have to do the black white girl look. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, you're black, but not that black, so you're fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. no, I'm like you're black, and we see this, yeah. so it's diverse. But like. That's too much. It's too much fro. No, nah, keep the braids. No, we're not doing dreads. Like, let's just put the side bang and put it behind your ear and everything's the fine. The side bang it's we burned off in the yeah. just glue that back on. <laughs> Man, that's... It's so true, though, right? That's crazy because, like, you t you talk about it like that's decades ago, but I guess it's not really that long no. ago. No. No. It's like 18, 21. Yeah, that's not... Yeah. So did you just learn to speak up do mm -hmm. you just learn to be like you can't put that in my hair yes. or my head yes i think initially i just would show up with my hair done yeah right so i would just right. do it at home yeah i would All they gotta curl do it, like... like literally everything and then i'd show up and they'd be like and and usually i would have it straight or like this because yeah. i just knew that that's what looks good they would have wanted yeah and then i would show up and they'd be like oh it looks great we're just gonna put a couple extra curls in it so i was like fine um and now, like, especially on All American, we're on a show where everyone knows how to do everything. And yeah. we've got, like, a great team. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, I wear it straight now because it's easier. Well, my character has straighter sure, yeah, hair, yeah. so it's easier under the, the wig and stuff. But uh, the wig, surprise. The wigs. <laughs> the wigs. <laughs> um, but now I've just learned to do my hair. There's also, this is huge, there's a lot more products now that are much more accessible mm -hmm. for curly hair because when yeah. I started to go to, like, before you would have, at least in like Toronto, you'd have to go to a salon that knew how to cut curly hair. And those conditioners oh God, and know. shampoos would be like $20 a bottle. Mm -hmm. Now you can go to CVS and get and like a $5 it. shampoo. Yeah. And that's 
like it's a game changer it seems like little things like it seems so trivial to be like oh who carries hair and makeup but it's completely a reflection on like how society is viewing those bodies yeah Yeah. so it's cool to see those changes yeah because even at cvs like you have all these like l'oreal they have everything Mm. and then you still do Oh, there's a black section. Of the yeah. Black. <laughs> yeah there, there I am. All right. They got my can too. Got my, like, yeah, my edge like, control. Like, like, there we are. It's in the back, but we still got yeah. it. But like they didn't even used to have that before. At all. Before no. you'd have to go to like, like a black salon yeah. and mm-hmm. go and get all your stuff. Yeah. At least now you can go to all those same spots and they have yeah. all of those things. But yeah, it was like a totally, I feel like, different time. They yeah. also used to, I don't know if it's the same in England, um, they used to put races on what? breakdowns. Did they do that in oh, LA? Oh, heck yeah. Now do they mean? don't do that. Oh, and, it's all like, ethnicities. But yeah, like, now it's always really. all ethnicities. And, you know, I'm sure they still have preferences. But I remember when I first started, it would be like, like black, black, white, like Asian. And now it's just like, we we want we all, all ethnicities diverse. and diversity yes, yes. and backgrounds and physical capabilities and yeah. whatever. But um, yeah, is that the same? Was it like that in England? Do you know? <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, I think they did. But again, it's like, it's, um, it would be, for, for me, there was always certain stuff that I knew I didn't want to do. Like yeah. my first, when I first started to see a, me agents mm-hmm. after, because I did theater school, and at the end of theater school, you do a big showcase and agents come and see you. And um, the ones that are interested in you, you meet them. Mm-hmm. So I was meeting different agents. And I remember the first one I met um, he was like, so where, you know, what kind of stuff do you want to do? Um, what kind of roles do you want to play? And I said, um, just, you know, could just complex characters, you know, yeah. I don't really have specific roles. Um, I'm, I said, I'm wary of, uh, you know, getting trapped into the, you know, the drug dealer and yeah. the gangster and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Not saying that there's not, um, a role that you don't, not saying that I would never do it. It's just if that's all he is, mm. then mm-hmm. it's like I'm not really interested. Like Stringer Bell in The Wire, mm. yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's a drug dealer, but he's one of the most he's Complex, almost Shakespearean yeah. Yeah. How, how amazing that character is. But there's also there's roles where it's just like he's just a black drug dealer, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm not really I'm not really Me interested too, yeah. in that. I've spent like three years doing like Russian plays and mm-hmm. German plays. You know, oh, I don't wow. want to. So I have a question for y'all. You know, because acting is my thing too. What could you guys see me playing as? Like, what kind of roles could y'all see me playing as? A legit question. And I really want to know, so let me know. Like, I'm probably giving, giving best friend, you get what I'm saying? (laughs) Giving the the best friend (laughs) with the swag. (laughs) And, I don't know. Or I'm giving crazy ex... (laughs) Uh, that, that's why. Oh, from that to just pointing a gun. Yeah. In. And also, I'm perpetuating a, 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 a negative stereotype. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which felt very kind of irresponsible. Yeah. Um, and this dude was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll totally get you." I mean, for the first five or six years, that's probably all you're gonna be able to do, though. <gasps> and I was like, "What?" I was like, like, "He said that. He said that." He said that. I was like, yeah. "I don't. I don't think so. I feel like. I feel I like. There's, I, feel, I do feel like there's more out there." And it was like, no, totally, there is, and, you know, we'll do, we'll get you to that. But, you know, for the first, you know, f- f- few years, five, you know, four or five years, um, yeah. you know, you, you got to just, it's just about the work. You just got to keep working. You just yeah, got to keep right. working. You take what you can get. And unfortunately, that's what's out there. And I was just like, it was just the most, dep- it was like my yeah. first age of me. And you're too. like, oh, no. It was the most like, depressing thing. Yeah. He's like, and that's my age yeah. to this day. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> it was the most depressing thing, man. And then, like, and I think he knew, he knew he'd lost me right. by the end of the thing. And we shook hands. I was like, thank you for the meeting. And then, yeah. But then a week later, I met the agent who I'm with now. And yeah. Basically said the same thing word for word. And she was like, absolutely. And she stuck to her word. I mean, there's been stuff that's come across the desk. And yeah. I'm like, this feels like one of those roles. Those, and she's yeah. like, cool, pass. And we'll move yeah. on. Um, and she respects you. She completely respects yeah. it. And we yeah. have a very similar vision. And and um, and if there's anything that I'm, you know, uncomfortable with or anything that I feel like is going to put the wrong thing out there or is helping something yeah. that's, yeah. Not, that's hurtful, like, she's completely with it. That's Did cool. you find, though, that for the first few years that is most of what you were getting? No. 
No. No, 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 because again, we had, we had that game plan. So Ooh. that might have been what was getting sent to her, but, but she wouldn't even you. send it. To, she wouldn't send it to me. You I know love, what I mean? I love when people, when agents or managers, like, respect you because like mm -hmm. i know yes we all have to make money <coughs> and we all have to get you know start yeah. from here and end up there like that's fine but it's yeah. like don't just do it for the check too yeah and, and, and also you have to make like i've done some stupid stuff in my like you know what i mean mm -hmm. but like if you keep making these choices as an actress or actor like to get these roles like some people might not take you seriously and like yeah. or just or you're just typecasted mm -hmm. and that's I don't want to just be the ghetto girlfriend or, you know what I mean? Maybe sometimes, but not like, not you know forever. what I mean? Not forever. Yeah. But that's that's nice that she just respects you. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. that's interesting. I want to like go to like accent. Is accent school? Accent class? Accent I classes? I don't know that. Accent, <laughs> accent school. I'm enrolling I don't know if there's in a accent school. school. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. how you go from like that to like American accent, like how Aegis Elba, I'm like, like it's so good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I guess you have coach. You didn't have a coach, though. Not for sure. No, we listened show, no. to Nipsey Hussle <laughs> yeah. on his break. That's amazing. <laughs> like, I forgot. I forgot. Even out there, and you're just talking. Like, you weren't yeah. speaking in your accent. Mm -hmm. and t like, well, talk like this. Hello. Also, Hello. but with that, though, I think a lot of British people, especially from my age group and my demographic we grew up on american shows right so oh, we've really? lived with the accent a lot longer because back in the day there were there there was no british shows with people that looked like us it just didn't exist oh really so for us to get that relatability on tv it was the fresh prince it was my wife and kids and yeah, sister yeah. sister and stuff it didn't matter that there was american it was black kids going through the stuff that black kids do yeah and so the 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 american accent isn't easy but it's it's more familiar to my ear because I grew up with it. Oh, wow. you, know, you know what I mean? Whereas wow. out here, you guys didn't grow up watching British classic TV shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's 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 so it's 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 gonna take it's gonna take a little bit longer for the for the ear to adjust, whereas we mm -hmm. was adjusting for yeah, the yeah. kids. How do you find the representation is on British television? Like would you say it's better out here or it's even or it is it getting um, better? Is it I think it's better out here in terms of uh yeah, I think it's better right here, but again, a lot of that is there's just more TV being made. Mm. UK, the industry's small. We have essentially four major networks. We have the BBC, ITV, Channel 4, and Sky. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I hear about Sky. You know what I mean? And then obviously there's the, the streaming and stuff, but they're still predominantly American mm. rap as yeah, of right yeah. now. Right. Um, whereas out here, you guys have the, like the, uh, the, the networks probably match that, but then you also have premium you have hbo and, and stars and fx and, 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 and yeah so yeah. there's just more being made out here which means there's just more opportunities right uh, for people of color to be cast um but the uk's the uk's doing all right i mean i think there's still a long way to go and in just the types of stories being told yeah mm -hmm. i don't know if a story like all american would, would have um, done like would have would have been made in the uk well, wow. namely, because no one watches. I mean, no, I mean, like, just, <laughs> you know, American. just they'd be I mean, like, no, "What? The this is not football." <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, even if it was, right, even right, if you right. swapped the sport and made it soccer, right? Soccer and made it soccer, soccer. Or football, soccer. Or real football. Yeah. Like, I, I still, I, I don't know who would have picked it up. Like, right. I don't, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. a show like this, you can, you can think of it. Oh, that would fit on this network mm -hmm. and this network. Whatever. Yeah. But. A show like this in UK, I don't know who would have been like, yeah, we've got the audience for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Without a huge lead attached. Is it like, in the UK, mm. is it like really diverse out there? Because I've never been. Yes. Is it diverse like just like how out here is? Yeah. Like London's, wow. London's like New York. It's like this, yeah. this co but again, you wouldn't know from our television. Right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, oh there's still God. people today who didn't who didn't know that there's black people in the uk yeah you know what i mean yeah. it's, it's i heard the black people in uk are lovely they are we are no, we're, for real we're, we're i feel like we're, we're we're great. Great. no we're i wonderful. feel like my friend was like yeah like the black guys out there are just so different i was like different how i don't know she just said they're <laughs> different like all i know is like the <laughs> i don't know if i'm just being ignorant but like 
what I've seen, like everybody can dress really nice. Like that's not true. That's not true. Got it's it. <laughs> Got it. It's like I I feel like you shut that down quick. He said that's not true. <laughs> Pink coats awesome. and like yeah, and sweaters. And I'm like they're great. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. Everyone. No, it's the same. And again, and especially here, like all like fashion sense swaps with here all the time. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's, nah, it's, it's that's not true. Um, but yeah, it's incredibly incredibly diverse. Like Birmingham, oh, where I'm it. from, London, where London, Manchester, Nottingham. It's just as tons of different cultures and stuff but again it's like go. that's not really being reflected on our tv so you yeah. wouldn't know and i think that's the that's the kind of tragedy of it is it yeah. means like the outside world isn't getting to see like just how how much of a mountain part it is would you make like would you be interested in like directing or like producing or writing a show like out there yeah for, for like sure. you or you know yeah 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 for sure yeah yeah, yeah. there's some <laughs> like i've got friends out there who are just the most incredibly talented people yeah with mm -hmm. just stories like <clears throat> coming out of their ears and yeah it's just, all it's gonna take is someone either someone will get someone will give them a chance or they will make one their own but it will it will change like i'm, I'm optimistic that it will change because yeah. there's people out there that i know that are, aren't gonna accept in another, another way mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean their voices will be heard one way or the other um it's just who's gonna be lucky enough to um have the foresight to see it yeah and be like i want to i want to get with this person and figure it out and help them <clears> achieve <throat> their dream but I, I do believe it will happen yeah there's just so much talent out there yeah because even when i went to canada like oh my god first off everything is like clean so clean <laughs> the trash cans are clean i was like am i, <laughs> I was like am i in a sims world i was like this is i know <laughs> we're, this is like america like 2.0 like it was just <laughs> like right i was like okay everybody's shoes are clean everybody has their little Back, everything, everything, their backpacks and every, their hair is just done. Like I felt like people weren't real, like like real nice, but like they weren't like mm. people. Like I felt like it was dropped. People were dropped down here, <laughs> and it was just like hey, you're gonna go to the mall and you're gonna go to work and you're gonna go on subway and you're just, you know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody was nice. Like, excuse me, no, excuse me, sorry. I'm like, oh my god, no, are you good? You want? Do you want to get a drink? Like, you know what I mean? Do you want to get a drink? Can I get you a drink? Yeah, I was like, wow. So I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Where in Canada did you go? I went to Toronto, Toronto. right? Yes, I yeah, went to Toronto. I love Toronto. And I was like, oh you my. You were there when we won the. Oh my God. The, what is the it? Championship, oh, the NBA championship. NBA championship. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was like, oh. everybody was giving me hugs. I don't know them. <laughs> picking me up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not from here. He's like, we won. We won. I was like, we, we did, did it. We won. I was like, <laughs> I was like so happy. We did then, it. Like, we were in this, uh, well, uh, this warehouse. Remember I told you? Oh, you were trying to explain this to me. I don't know this where This warehouse, uh, uh, it's like a car garage. <laughs> and it was dope. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, they're really, like, banking on them winning. Like, I've never been ever. I, this is, like, the most passionate. I was like, wow. I was like, please, God, I really hope they win. Because if they don't, like, I don't know what's going to happen. And then they did. They're like. Like, they put it on your shoulders. I don't know you. I don't know anybody here. But it was just, like, it was just nice. Yeah. And, like, you guys have an accent, too. Like, what is it? Bag. Bag. A. I don't know. Yes, you do. Bag. A. Yeah. Bag. Uh, you said, but it. Sorry. A. Yeah. B. Big. My bag. I, now big. I don't know how to say it. You say now I'm too self-conscious. I know we say sorry. Sorry. How's about... Do you like the Canadian accent? I know you love the British accent. So. Yeah, but you know what? It's not I, different enough for you to like it. I no, this like. girl, uh, she's my friend now. Okay, <laughs> I met her, and she was like West West Indian. Mm -hmm. Um, so she kind of sounded like when you say certain words, but then kind of sounded like you, Daniel. And then it was like, I don't. I was like, what's going on? Yo, it's kind of like Jamaican. My, yeah, and my family's like, Jamaican. What's going though. on? My family's Jamaican though, so you should probably like little. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she's it was got like a little bit islands. of pot. So I was like, what? Where are, you, where are you from? Like, but it was like a bunch, a bunch of them, like just like yeah, yeah, yeah. speaking, like I don't know. Like I think a lot of like Africa. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But they're there in, in Canada. No, there's a lot of people like from the Caribbean in Toronto for sure. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go back. It's the best. We got to do a trip. No, I'm I think sure. we should. Every, everything's just we should nice. Go, we should all go to Toronto and then all go to London. Yeah, and we can if skip I go to London, Indiana, I feel like I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I do not feel like I'm a good If you go to London? Yes. London. Like, I'm like, out here now with my pea coat. <laughs> gets just... a pea coat, cuts her hair immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, a fashion designer out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Within days. She's like, new life. Yes. Wow. Yes, you're looking at that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. How, do the, me, can we... how do the, um, 
how how would you, how do people ask someone out on a date in Toronto? Like, is it wildly different here than in Toronto? Like the social scene. Um, I don't. I'm just thinking Degrassi right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like in high school. Um, no, I think. Well, no, I don't think it's like here. I have not dated out here, but from everything I've heard. I feel like it's very hard to date out here. Everyone has said like in LA, LA, in LA in people LA. have said it's very difficult yeah. to date because everyone's like got an agenda. Oh, I mean, here, let me tell perfect. you this now, okay? Yeah, we got the LA native. Tell <laughs> tell us how I'm it LA, is. Okay, people from LA are like, no, you're from the valley. Okay, it's, it's I'm I'm from here. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I mean, my parents are from the East Coast, so I guess I have a little bit East Coast. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm very like yeah, straight to the point. I guess that's East Coast ish. East Coast yeah. Okay. Um, but people from LA, you're gonna have fake people everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, people from LA are really, honestly, just really cool. It's sometimes the people that come from random places that aren't to, from, that, that from like Utah and freaking other places come here. Try, oh well, this is how I gotta be. I'm gonna put my shades on in a dark place, like in the club, and just like <laughs> act like you know, like like like. It's not love and hip hop, okay? This is not, <laughs> we're, you know what I mean? Like, for I, the main yeah. part, everybody's really, really cool. I feel like everyone that right? I've met who is from LA is really cool. You're right. It's yeah. the people that come. Like, you're that from Minnesota feel like and you're acting like you're going to put a fur on and I'm just going to get a Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you so much. Like, what are you doing? What are you even doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or yeah. do, doing this handshake and be like, hi. <laughs> the limp. Hi, the limp. Like, what are you squinting at? Are you squinting. I just want to try to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but dating here is like. <sighs> I don't know. You know what? This I never date. I've only dated like East Coast and like. I dated like one like Southern boy, mm -hmm. but I didn't like like out like LA boys like right, that. Right, 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 right. Like it's, you know, it's like my first time dating other, but like no, I you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like I didn't like the. I don't know this difference. There's like LA, LA. There's like hood LA. Oh right, LA's yeah. That's the thing. LA's yeah. Big. When you it's say like, LA, like... I feel like you're. We're not from here, so okay, Daniel okay, and sorry. I. LA okay. to me is I okay. Don't... So I feel like okay, you have the valley, right? Right. Yeah. I love the valley, and I just feel like it's just right. Just people, maybe like kind of like, hey dude, like let's get a smoothie, like <laughs> kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> but then you have like LA, and then you have like whoa, 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 whoa LA, like what's up, <laughs> like. Like, I, like that LA, <laughs> and then you have like, yeah, like kind of like hipster, like yeah, like Silver Lake, you know, and wear my hat, get a couple of tattoos, right? <laughs> like you're vegan, I'm vegan, like kind of right. It's just like <laughs> everywhere is just like thing. different, right? Well, it's like Santa Monica. Do you say Santa Monica? I don't Monica? know. Yeah. It's just it's Santa, Santa Monica is just like rich, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, you gotta go ride a bike, yeah. Get some sushi later, like, yeah, like, just, you know. Like, and the OC is just, ugh, I don't know. I don't know, I never been. OC is, no, you've been. is Laguna. clean. Oh, yeah. yeah, Laguna is so, everything is so pretty. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But everything is just so... There's not a lot of black people there. That's no, for that's sure. <laughs> I mean, there is some. You know what I mean? Because I do like the OC. It's it's really really pretty. And yeah, a couple of really my friends pretty. live out there. It's just like there's not a lot of us. No, though. it's like look at me. It's like the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I love LA, but there's just it's just because it's it's very diverse. Like, mm -hmm. I like my. That's my favorite thing about LA. It's just there's so much different yeah. cultures and people here. Yeah. And yeah, I agree. What's her name? Patience. Y'all, this whole time, I ain't gonna lie, I've been trying to figure that out. Like, every time she's talking, I'm like, bro, what's her name? I'm like, in the show, is it Patience? And just, it, it's, does the, I mean, it's obviously it's a very liberal city, but it's a lot of different ways of thinking, and mm -hmm. there's just so much different... Um, just the li even on our crew, our crew is crazy because you'll hear like I five know. different languages throughout yeah. the day. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I and me personally, I love that. Yeah, because I because where I'm from in the city, so I was around like the one culture, the kind of Birmingham sort of Jamaican mm -hmm. culture. And then I moved to London. I was like, oh man, 
there's so much different what's life and then i moved to la and it just exploded and i yeah. love it and wait I'm, so in I birmingham there's like a lot of jamaicans yeah really tons <gasps> tons and all my dad's that friends. is so cool yeah Oh my God! See, I love Jamaica when I went. Oh my God! Yeah, cool. I, we want to talk nice. about a great. I love like, Cape Verde when I went. <laughs> she's like, I have not been. I have not been. <laughs> it's a sore subject. I've been to Cape Verde twice. I can't. Believe, I don't. You're making me mad. <laughs> you're making me so mad. Like I, I, I like. Did you have manchupa? I don't know what that is. That's, that's a no. Know, okay, know, never mind. Okay, it's a dish. or Whatever. It's it's really good. But like. I went to Jamaica. <laughs> you want to talk about like dating? Okay, like mm -hmm. I feel like East Coast guys are aggressive, mm -hmm. <laughs> but Jamaicans. Oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Like just. <sighs> Would you say East Coast are aggressive? I wouldn't say. Yeah. I, I have. I have not found that any one coast is more or less aggressive. Actually, yeah. No, you're right. We had I guess... a guy. When we were hanging out, me, Sam, in Asia, yeah, yeah, come out of his car, oh my god, and gosh. say, and say, can I get one of your numbers? <laughs> like, like, uh, no, no. <laughs> like, like <laughs> we were just like, so he stopped. He stopped. Mm -hmm. He was not even driving. Yeah, he was in the passenger seat. Awesome. Scrubs. Scrub. Yeah. I don't want to scrub. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Yeah. exited it's his vehicle at a light in the middle of the street. Yeah. Okay. With his phone, and just said, can I get one of your numbers? No preference. <laughs> Like, it no. was just, just like a, just like a whoever, free for right, all. What did you say? You're like, it. I guess it'll be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, well, sir, <laughs> I'll be the winner today. That's amazing. It's just like stuff. Like, I'm like, that is brave. That happened They're here both. or East Coast? No, that in was the valley, that was in, in the Northern valley. Hollywood. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, it's all right. But, but I, I feel mean, like, I don't know if awesome cool, is the like, word yeah, I use, like, but like. I feel like you're like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I haven't been to the UK. Like, I feel like people he said, hello, beautiful. What's your name? I'm like, no. I'm no. Chelsea. Okay, let me bust that. Right? I feel like Chelsea's got like a, to you, yeah. London's like this magical. I know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. I almost, I almost I don't, don't, don't want you to come. Because no, I don't why? want your dreams to get shattered. I feel like everybody's like, going to be like, come on, love, I'll take you. <laughs> no, sweet Jesus. Come in my okay. peacoat. Yeah. Are you cold? Like, come in my like, peacoat. No. She's like, wow. Yes, I'm I telling like, you, you're just gonna get. You're, mm -mm. you're gonna get the British. You're gonna get the British version of. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 to me, but to me, it's she's like, like that's still that's better. High. It's like, come here right now. Like, I'm like, what? Where are you, where are you going? <laughs> okay, all right. Let's okay. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> that was, no, uh, was, okay. Whoever said she was funny, yeah, she's definitely very funny. Let me see if my head. But yeah, she's definitely hilarious. Like, <laughs> I am so dead. Wait, like that? What's? Is it as hot? Like, I'm dead. Oh, I think that was good. Yeah, that was good. So you guys, that was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. They are very entertaining, as always. They are always entertaining. The cast is amazing. I feel like they always have great talks. Great, um, you know what I'm saying, advice. So yeah, I love <laughs> listening to them. You know, just have a, that's hard. Like they all just really close friends, you know what I'm saying? So like, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell so you know that I post. And if you guys do subscribe and if y'all do hit that bell, you'll see me in the next video. Stay lit, y'all. Yeah.